All right, I want to ask you a couple of things here. When you say, instead of, you learn not to carefully script because in many cases you were throwing it out the window because you're mm. letting the conversation go where it was needed to go and where it was organic, where, where um, you definitely were adding value. And sometimes you couldn't like actually ask all the questions. And sometimes you didn't want to once you heard like maybe a response. Mm. And you learned this in the episodes one through 50. You switched it to having five to seven things that you kind of wanted to highlight or kind of wanted to get to. In my experience, five to seven things is usually too much. Yep. Just This is just me. And so yeah. I'm curious how you are able to do five to seven or if it was five to seven and now it's one to two or something else like that, you know? So tell me a little bit about the five to seven and how that's going for you or how it went through for you from like episodes one through 50 and then beyond. Yeah. What, um, one of the things I learned then with those five, I still do five to seven in terms of my preparation. I write down five to seven things. Mm -hmm. You're right. Usually I get to one or two of those. Um, okay. Maybe we'll get to three. Often those five to seven are actually interrelated anyway, because what I'll do is I put people now through a, an application process. Um, I, I don't really call it an application process. Essentially, they're providing me the background information, and particularly if they pitch me to come on the show, they've got a message they want to share. They've got something they want to bring to my platform. So I ask them, well, what is that? And if that's a match for my audience, if that's something I'm curious about, then that'll form the basis for our conversation. And as you say, we usually dig deep on one or two things. Um, those five to seven are just the list I start with. Okay. Okay. So here's what I think I'm hearing. Totally correct me if I'm wrong. You don't want to have nothing to say at all or nothing yeah. to ask. So you think of an, a small handful of things that you could ask that if you if it gets awkward, if it gets quiet, if it gets stale, you've got some things in front of you that you could go to. They're yeah, all exactly. around the same topic, but it's kind of like helping you to make sure that you've always got something. And so you get to a place and you feel like it might be the end of it. And then you kind of look at these lists of five mm. to seven things and you just go ahead and pick one. And you might only get to one or two or three or four of them. It, you don't have to go all five or all seven, but having something in front of you allows it to be able to kind of go into a place. And you might even notice, hey, they already answered that. Well, there's no reason for me to ask that's that. A, you go that's to right. Yeah. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? That's kind of what it is. Yeah. And, and they're not questions. They're just kind of a bullet list of topics, really. Okay. And, and the way I structure it, I will introduce the guest very briefly. I will ask them the first question, which is always along the lines of what's the impact you're making in the world today? And then I just listen really carefully to what they tell me. And usually that will prompt the next conversation. And for I would say for 80 to 90% of the guests, I don't refer to my list anymore after that because they've given me a couple of things in their first answer that leads to the conversation and the conversation mm. just flows from there. And that's probably something that uh, over the years – I've just become more and more confident that even as an introvert, and I'm, I'm actually an introvert, that when I meet somebody new, I can start off a conversation with a deep question like that uh, in, in that sort of setting and then carry a conversation on from there to dig into their expertise and get them to share some stuff that might be helpful. Well, certainly it would be helpful to me and hopefully it will be helpful to my listeners.